Okay, uh, in this video here, I will um, go through the steps to configure an uh, Allen Bradley Rockwell Compact Logics PLC and an Aldevar Process 900 series drive uh, to communicate with each other using Ethernet IP. And I'll start by um, going through the configuration of the VSD first, and then we'll move on to setting up the PLC. So if I look at the protocol we'll be using, uh, it's going to be Ethernet IP. The 900 series drive, you have the option for Modbus TCP or Ethernet IP. From there, um, I'm going to select our profile 100.101, which is the easiest one, I think, uh, for controlling the process drive. You don't have to use the... Um, CIA 402 state chart to control it. I'll increase our requested packet interval slightly to 50 milliseconds. And for now, I'm just going to leave the um, our scanner table with the default. So in our input table, we have the status word and then our speed feedback and in the output table we have the command register and then our speed set point. Um, you'll notice that we have uh, the ability to have 32 words in and 32 words out. So I'm just going to acknowledge that. just takes a little while for the uh, VSD to acknowledge it. Um, uh, the VSD will be set up with a fixed IP address of 192.168.0.10 and what you will need to do first is uh, when it's in default DHCP mode I recommend going to FDR and disabling that and then going to RSTP and unticking enable RSTP. Once you've done that, you can then select fixed IP address and then give give the VSD a fixed IP address. Right from there, I want to tell the VSD that the command to run and to stop and to do fault resets etc. will come from the embedded Ethernet port. Uh, so I'm going to change the control mode configuration to IO profile or IO mode hit enter uh, our reference frequency is going to be from embedded ethernet and our command channel will also be from embedded ethernet And for now, uh, that's all we have to do. Remember though, if you do um, give a VSD an IP address, you have to cycle the power for that address to take effect. That can be Ethernet, Modbus Serial, Device Net, any. Okay, I'll now uh, set up the Compact Logix PLC using RS Logix 5000. So we've got an Ethernet port on our uh, PLC and I'm going to add a module which will be our process drive so I'm going to select uh, uh, just a generic Ethernet module and I'll call it Ultima process 900 uh, the process drive uses integers not double integers so 16 bits and like I said before, it's got an IP address of 192.168.0.10. Um, now, like I was saying again before, our assembly instance is 101.100. And the table was 32 16-bit words long. So make sure you put in 32. If you're only using uh, two bits, uh, two words in each 
table, it doesn't matter, you still have to put 32 in or else you'll get a, uh, a fault on the module. And our configuration is 6. And go OK. And I set the RPI rate on the VSD to 50 milliseconds, so we'll do the same here. Alright, so now I'm going to uh, go online and I'll download this program onto the uh, onto the PLC. Put it back into run mode. Right now, I made changes to the VSD, which probably need to be um, given a, a power cycle. I changed from the uh, 2070 or 2171, I can't remember, to 101. So I'm just going to give it a cycle and hopefully that fixes it And now we're running, so it, it just needed a uh, cycle. So what I'll do is reconnect to the VSD again, and then we can prove that um, we can control the the device. So to show that we're controlling the device, I'll look at the, um, the output frequency of the motor. So I'll just force the uh, the create other variables within here. So first, I'll look at the status of the drive. Um, so the status word is 563. That's what the PLC is reading, and we can check that um, through so move. That there should be 563. Now, if 
feedback. There we go, I just needed to refresh. So our com scanner is 563, which is correct. What I'll do now is select the um, output frequency again. Do is go to the command word, and we'll put a value of one in here. speed I'll put uh, 350 now we'll go check our output 35 Hertz it's because our um, our units for frequency are 0.1 Hertz so 350 is 35 um, we can probably show the state of the drive. I go into the control panel and you can see the drive status we're in run. So if I were to make this zero, now it drives decelerating and then it'll go into the ready state. There you go. So it's uh, fairly easy to get a process drive up and running with uh, Rockwell PLC. Um, we don't have um, special EDS files for RS Logics. Uh, we do have EDS files for the RS Networks. If you want to set that up, I find it easier just to use a generic module and do exactly what I've done here. It's not that hard and it, yeah, like I say, it doesn't take long at all to get it up and running.